Something completely unexpected has happened. Again. There was another school shooting by another young man and his primary target was a young woman and initially I had heard that this was his ex-girlfriend and then I heard it was someone that he who had spurned him and then it sort of sounded like this was just some young uh, young girl who he had stalked for several months and nobody could have seen this coming because stalking and abusing women is not seen as a risk factor in school shootings or violence of any kind. Um, it is. It's probably right up there with torturing animals, but we all seem to recognize that as a risk factor for um, causing violent mayhem. But we're still not tuned into the fact that this was so predictable. And now we're left with more dead people, more dead girls, because men don't understand that women don't belong to them. So you have pornography that repeatedly shows women as being just accepting, permitting uh, receptacles of whatever men want to do to them. And so he's been raised, and I'm assuming, but we all know that most men are watching porn and that most viewings happen as young as 11 years old and even younger now. And that most scenes in pornography show violent and, and abusive behavior against women. So he's learned from a very young age that women are for him, they belong to him, women belong to men. Um, that they always want sex, that they always want him, that there's always a yes around the corner. And the other media, you know, it encourages people to push and push and push and not take no for an answer. But she very clearly had given no's and had actually, uh, as the media is stating, humiliated him in class. And I would love to know what that actually looked like. Um, but whatever that actually look like in practice, humiliation is not, is not a precursor to a slaughter. Okay, I remember being humiliated in grade school. I got my period. It was the day of the big grade eight um, choir or whatever singing thing you do at the end. And, it, and um, I had been sitting with my knees up to my chest so the blood was just coming out and my ex-boyfriend in front of the whole class yelled tampon right at me. And that was humiliation, right? We didn't talk about periods back then. Um, and I was one of the first ones to have had it for as long as I did. And, and I was so embarrassed. I wanted to go home and dig a hole deep enough for myself that light would never find me again. But no matter how humiliated I felt, I never wanted to hurt anybody. I never had the urge to enact any kind of violence. I didn't even want to hit the guy who said it. I internalized um, any feelings that I had and I fucking navigated them like a girl is forced to because we're not allowed to express our feelings in, you know, raging outbursts. That's just not appropriate. <laughs> Side note, but when we talk about like, Oh, men aren't allowed to express their feelings like, oh, nobody is, but we still have to deal with it ourselves like adults or young adults um, because the world is not made for feelings. So it's not like women are celebrated for crying or, or for having anger, uh, for shouting. We're, that's just not allowed for women either. So, so don't get tripped up in this like, oh, we want men to be able to cry. Like, I want women to be able to cry too. We all need to be able to express our emotions appropriately. It's not the fault of women that men can't, but men are making these rules. So it's sort of like patriarchy, you know, a guy hitting himself in the face. Quit hitting yourself. Cry. You know, rewrite the rules. So, Women know what it's like to be humili humiliated. We know what it's like to not be able to deal with our emotions in a way that you know feels natural for us. But there's still something about men and boys that make them hurt other beings. So 
I said in one of my first videos that men are necrophilic and they have a love for death, they have a love for destruction. This is war, this is religion, this is, um, this is rape, this is poverty, and women have, women have a drive for life, they're biophilic, so this is creation. Um, this is investment in community and things like that. So what young women have learned from the media portrayal about this, you know, poor spurned young man who couldn't handle the depth of his emotions so he had to slaughter people to feel better, I guess, um, is that not only will, not only is death like a, a realistic potential outcome of a rejection uh, to a man who, or a boy who wants to date you or wants to do something with you, um, but he'll kill you and then they'll blame you for it. So I'm sorry, young girls, for that because it's not your fault if he kills you or hurts you or rapes you or stalks you. You did nothing wrong. You navigated the world as best you could with the information that you had, which was sorely lacking, no doubt. Uh, you're not responsible for men's feelings or actions. So what's an incel? Well, incel stands for involuntarily celibate. But what it means is there are some dudes who are so gross and unbearable that women want nothing to do with them and so they can't have sex. I'm sure we all feel very sorry for these men, um, but I'm really glad that they have a group now, like a little club to get together and talk about how much they hate women uh, and want to kill them and how much they admire uh, the guys who have done that, of which there are many. The first experience that I had with this was when I was on 4chan uh, like a decade ago, back when um, Feminon, so like a, a female anonymous user, was autocorrected to come dumpster. So this was a very welcoming place for women. For whatever reason, I'm sorry, it was late at night, and there was this guy who had offered to write a woman's name on his dick. So that happened, and then all of a sudden in this thread that I had been following, there was a whole bunch of dicks with women's names on them, and yes, indeed, there is a, a smallish dick out there, a photo of it, <laughs> one out there with my name on it, and I am very sorry for having contributed to this. But this guy came along, and he was super pissed, and he started berating everyone, and everyone was like, shut the fuck up, we're just having fun. And anyway, so he starts to flood the thread with photos of dead women's bodies. And these were real women uh, in, in, in car accidents and in, in murder scenes. Like, I was so horrified. I'd never seen anything like that. And I realized there was a guy out there who hated women so much that he kept a folder on his computer of their dead bodies. And he used it to terrorize women, first of all. Like, that shut everything down. Obviously, no one can go back to that thread without seeing that, so that died, but who, what else was he using that for? What other, you know, why else does a man collect photos like that? It's not just to shut women up, there was something more about that. So that man, I'm sure, went on to abuse and rape many women. Um, that just seemed like the type of person that would do that. And I don't feel bad about that assumption at all. Men who consider themselves involuntarily celibate seem to think that sex is something that women, you know, dole out or that's something that they're entitled to but because, you know, um, the system is all a flozzel, they can't get it anymore and they should, they should, they deserve it, they've earned it, they're born male um, and those mean, mean women um, are not playing by the rules and those are the rules that patriarchy wrote. So the anger comes from somewhere. They've definitely been lied to, but they've also been lied to about what women are and women are human and women do get to decide who we spend time with uh, and they don't like that. So I have to tell you men that you do not have a right to have sex with anybody ever. You do not have that right. That is not something to which you are entitled. You were lied to, sorry about that gonna have to deal with it, gonna have to stop killing women, it's really really bad, I can't believe I have to tell you that this is a problem, and 
fucking deal with your emotions, right? Like, go to yoga, learn a skill, be appealing. <laughs> this is so, it's so pathetic when you hear like, they're involuntarily celibate because women, are, women don't go for nice guys. Are you sure? It's not because you're so nice. You're not nice. You're a jerk. You're rude and you're gross. And I don't mean you're gross looking or whatever stereotype you might apply to that. I mean, your, your entitlement is gross and your idea that you deserve a woman is gross and the idea that you can pursue a woman past no is gross and the idea that a woman is a prize is gross. Your mental processes are gross. I mean, I don't want to like tell you the secret to happy relationships because if you think you're an incel, you're already too far gone. But the truth is you have to be kind, not nice. You have to not try to trick women or lie to women or convince women. You have to listen to women and care, like genuinely, not fake. So if you don't have like a personality or any desire to be kind or, see, or make the world a better place, like you don't have anything that a woman might see as valuable. And why would any woman want anything to do with you? You think, you think all kinds of untruths about yourself and about women and about society in general. So women have every right to put up the red flags all the way around your face because you're scary and we can smell that shit from a mile away because you've been killing us. So we're like in tune with that, right? This kind of like, hmm, this guy kind of seems like he might kill me one day. I don't want anything to do with him. Oh, and then you kill her. So we're right. Feminists just love being right. And the other thing that I love and I, and I'll get to it more in another video because it just enrages me so much, but is this idea that if we just, what is it, what do they call it? The redistribution of sex. If we just give all of these poor sad incels girlfriends, everyone will be happy and no one will be killed. Well, first of all, that's a fucking hostage situation and that's extortion. And second of all, there's, there can be no consent there. And I know that you incel shits don't care about that, but that is, uh, vital to a healthy society, so that can't happen. Um, but the truth is, all you would be doing is hurting women in, in private instead of in public. Because if you have the attitude that you're owed a woman, she's a thing to you, you will hurt her. So it's not like giving incels girlfriends is going to solve anything, it's just going to make them violent against one woman in the privacy of their home where she's too afraid to leave or say anything, rather than him killing a whole bunch of people in a school or by running them down with a van or whatever creative idea that these violent men come up with next. I'm really tired of hearing about these murders. I'm really tired that we're only just inching into the conversation about um, male violence. And this isn't about mental illness, and this isn't about gun control, this is about why men kill people. And until we have that wider conversation, um, we're gonna, this is going to keep happening, women and other people are going to keep dying, and more and more lives will be impacted by this. This is not okay. This is so wrong. That young girl I think of all the boys that I've said no to. I have had a beautiful life. Who knows what she could have done with hers. We needed her. We needed her friends. How strong they could have been in this world. And her enti that entire school is terrorized. And the entirety of the United States high school system is terrorized right now by, by male violence, by the specter of it. And by the... By the the potential because it's there so thank you for watching and I hope we do better we need to if you 
want to make sure that you get notifications uh, for more videos from me, you can subscribe to me and, and make sure that you hit the little notification bell thing. You can like this video if you like it, or you and your incel friends can downvote it uh, and write terrible comments, which I'll delete right away, so I really, really, really want you to waste your time. Um, and if you're not an incel and you're a normal person who maybe thinks kindness is a-okay, uh, you could write me a nice comment and, and maybe talk about something or mention something that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And as always, you can go to uh, my website um, or my Twitter or my Insta or my... I feel like there's always one more thing. Maybe that's it. Uh, a woman walking away. And um, just see what else I do in the world. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. He, he wants an autonomous, 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 <laughs> He wants a sex doll.